Ah, hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got another manicure I'm going to do with you. I have started off with Eliana's base coat and this one's called Enamel Nail Primer. This is a new base coat I'm trying and I'm trying it because <laughs> my friend Judy over at Judinka Nail Art loves this this line so I've got a whole bunch of products that I'm trying of theirs and I really do like the base coat so far. Next I have the Morgan Taylor, the beautiful, beautiful Morgan Taylor. Look at that. And it is called Under the Stars. And it is just beautiful all by itself. And I did wear it just like this to work today. But since I've worn it for a day now, it's time to play with it. And I also am trying out the Essie Top Coat that Sister Chick also sent me. And this is the Essie Top Coat in the Twisted Bottle. And it's Zero Zero Top Coat. So it's like their gel finish top coat. And I'm giving that a whirl and seeing what I think about it. Today I'm going to be using a bunch of stamping plate. And we're going to just get started. This one is Cheeky 04. I mean Cheeky 4. There's no O. Cheeky 5. Mash number 49. And Wistonia 107. I'll be using my Fabri Nail Scraper. And my Monocle Stamper. And my Pure Ice. For stamping it's called silver Mercedes and this is not a stamping polish it's a regular polish but it's been my favorite silver stamping polish for a very long time so we're gonna go ahead and get started and what I'm doing today is I'm just gonna use a whole bunch of different star images I figured since it's underneath the stars that we would play off of that just use all these stars. All, I'm going to put this one on my pinky. Oh, look how pretty that's turning out. Digging it. Got to get my lint roller. Didn't have all my stuff together, guys and gals, everybody. And the next, okay, that was the Wistonia plate. Now I'm using the cheeky plate and I'm using this little star image. Let's see if I can get these lights to stop winding out so much. I apologize. I get so excited when I'm playing nails that sometimes I'm not totally focused on filming. <laughs> I don't know if you have noticed that or not. And there's a whole bunch of little stars and I'm going to put those on my thumb. Love it. I'm totally, totally digging it. We're going to throw this one off to the side. And next is this cheeky plate and it's CH5. And I just, I, there are so many star images, I thought it would be really cool to just use different images from different plates and just roll with it. Big stars, little stars, clumped up together stars, we're just going star crazy over here at Moon Baby Nails. Okay, next we have MASH number 49. Going to just keep putting these stars on my nails until all of them are full. Very pretty. I am so loving this. And I don't know if y'all have noticed, I know it's been a minute, but I do have the same thing on both hands. The same manicure. <laughs> I know it's been a, a few minutes since y'all have seen that. Okay, and we're going to go back to the Swistonia plate, and I'm going to use the other star image that is on that same plate. All right. Oh, look what I done did. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh, no. It's not coming off just a second. So we're going to give it a quick swipe with some nail polish remover and see that came right off of there and I was able to do that because I have a good top coat on. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute. We're going to go ahead and clean up this plate and get it ready. And while we're waiting on that nail, I like to let it dry really well before I jump back in with my next color because I don't want any residual smushing or 
nothing so I'm just gonna clean these plates off real quick while we let that dry alrighty so we're gonna try this again and maybe this time I won't be in such a rush and we'll actually get this one on here on the nail I did get excited about nail art guys I'm just a junkie Trying to line this up. Oh, that's a very cool image. I've got like a warped spot, but that's okay. I don't think anybody is going to be looking that closely at it. So there we go. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup, and then we're going to come back and top coat them. Be right back. Real quick, my friends, I wanted to show you that this actually does come off pretty good with tape, even though it's not a stamping polish. I just wanted to share that with you. I know you sometimes see me do this with stamping polishes and have good success. And I wanted to show you that sometimes it also works with non-stamping polishes. Like here I've got a big pile of it on my thumb. And there we go. Gone. Just wanted to share that with you. I'll be right back and we'll top coat. Okay, my friends, I'm back. I've got my posh top coat, and we're going to finish off this manicure and seal this design right on in. I'm just trying to float that top coat over the stamping so I don't smear it. I have been known to do that before, before for sure. And then I'm gonna cap the ends. And there we go, how pretty. I'm just loving it. It's such a gorgeous polish. And like I said, I did wear this to work today just like it was. Just in a regular old mani, no, no nail art. But I kept looking at it all day and I kept thinking stars because I knew it had stars in the name. I was like, I've got to do some stars on it. Very pretty. Love, love, love it. Cap that in. And then the last one, the little pinky. And I really do like that I used all the different stars because now I know what they all look like, all those images. Some of them I've never used, so it's nice to get to use them. Alright, so there we go. Here it is. And see, it is on both hands. <laughs> and it's funny because remember that one I said something about it being a little, it's like missing a line. It happened on the other nail too, so it might be user error. <laughs> but there we go. That is my final manicure. So, that's all I have for you today. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this one. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.